everybody. It's Chad from the right line. We're mounting some shocks to the Overland trailer today. And uh, been a long time coming here. I haven't actually worked on the trailer here in about two weeks, but I'm mounting these shocks just inboard about three inches of the shackles on both sides. And um, it's gonna come up to the cross member here. I've cut just not welded in yet. You probably saw in my short, I made some brackets. This is, these are gonna go up on the cross member above. I found these brackets actually on Amazon, but they're from Rough Stuff Specialties. And uh, they're gonna go here just like so. And I wanna mount them at zero degrees to the horizontal plane so nothing's hanging down. All right, on to the next. I found these shocks on Amazon and they offer about five inches of travel, which is uh, sufficient here for the uh, travel that I have here between the frame and the top of the leaf spring perch. And they're to be mounted 12 and a half inches apart, eye to eye. So that means I can float this cross member wherever I need it to be. I just have to come over three inches here and make sure that my eyes line up. Uh, not bad for first guess. Just move it back an inch and a half and we're golden. The cross member, it's uh, square to this cross member here at 17 and an eighth. And then from eye to eye, I'm 12 and a half. So exactly where I wanted it. And I'm putting the shock actually behind the axle because <clears throat> the travel of the suspension is up and back because the movable shackle is in the back, the fixed shackle is in the front. So 12 and a half inches from there to there, I think it's looking great. We are done for now welding in these shock mounts cross member upper shock mount lower shock mount same over there lower shock mount upper shock mount cross member now that cross member is going to be nice because i found a slide that i want to put in the, the trailer here on either side from more right i think it is and so that cross member will be nice because it'll add some support to those two slides but in the last video that I filmed, I worked on this rack and the rack is now done. It's actually not mounted. I'm gonna leave it loose for now because I wanna be able to use that weight to fine tune uh, coming into tongue weight. So that is not gonna be mounted down anytime soon. And I finished my awning mounts, one here and one there. There's the awning on top there. So that has been done. I filmed a few shorts but I didn't really have enough time to film a real full video like this one. I also capped off these frame ends there, one there, one there, and then of course the opposite ones over there. Now, there's gonna be a stabilizer jack mounted right there and on the opposite side. This blank right here, this blank, is gonna be welded around that three quarter inch light there. So it's gonna look kinda of cool. That light is gonna be lighting up the inside of that, but that blank will also protect this light out on the trail so I don't damage anything and then I've got some pipe here and I'm gonna cut out some pieces for the same thing here these will be amber in the front and then that piece that comes out will protect that light well, the other thing that I did since the last time was I welded in my uh, leaf spring perches finally I uh, decided that's where I wanted the axle I put some gussets in here uh, from Super Duty headquarters the gussets probably aren't really necessary but 
I wanted to do it anyway. I got a gusset right there. You can see that one. So those are mounted in. And then I think today I'm going to start working on fenders here. I got an idea of how high I want them to be and how I want them to be uh, put together. So we'll get started on that. And then I've been thinking a lot about the spare tire. And I think what I might do is somehow mount the spare here in the front or maybe laying down underneath it. I'm not exactly sure. I might also mount it sort of right here uh, with enough room for the door to open, but also enough room for the tire to be here. So I got some, I got some options. Uh, the big thing is I don't want to add so much weight to the back that it starts tearing up the, uh, or starts affecting my tongue weight too bad. part of the project for today which is mounting the fender and I've just kind of got it tacked in place where I want it uh, I'm using one by two for the frame and then I'm just gonna tack the two to get weld the two together uh, and I think what I'm gonna do I still have some of this kind of thin material I think I'll make like a little cover or blank for this and then weld that on so it looks finished and closed and then I'm gonna put a piece of tubing between here and there and then between here and there uh, kind of finish it off a little bit. Gives me about um, five and three quarters ish, six inches of travel, which is plenty with the suspension that we have. This uh, support is going to clear that tire if the tire were ever to go up high enough to do that. Um, and we've got plenty of room right here. We don't have to worry about the tire moving forward, we have to, move, to worry about the tire moving backwards and up. And uh, so, anyways, it's looking pretty good so far. trailer is definitely coming along I got a lot accomplished today fenders are tacked into place sort of where I want them shocks are in so I think I'm gonna end this video uh, right here because I'm not exactly sure what I want to do here I've got enough material I can I could close that off in the front and the back on both sides but oh I think I've gotten enough done today I think I'm gonna call it quits so if we if you like what you saw please consider a like comment or a share and I'll see you again next time.